today I have two sheets of paper and I'm excited to make something. Pinterest is one of my favorite ways to just peruse inspiration and find ideas for what to draw. But instead of letting it slowly inspire me, I thought it would be fun to let Pinterest tell me what to draw. So I have two sheets of paper here and I've drawn two characters. Ta-da! And Pinterest is gonna be telling me what their hair is gonna look like, what their clothes are gonna look like, what their accessories are going to be, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Let's do it. So the way we're gonna do this is, this character is going to be character number, where's a pencil? I just drew these. This is gonna be character number one, and this is character number three. And when I search for something like hairstyles, the first result is going to go on this character and the third result is going to go on this character. There are a few rules, like if it's an advertisement, we skip to the next one, or if it's a video, we'll skip to the next one. Or if it's not directly visible what the hairstyle is in the picture, we'll just skip to the next one. Yeah, let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is search for hairstyles since that's what I mentioned earlier. <laughs> so images of hairstyles bloop let's see what we get oh my gosh those two are very similar <laughs> okay i forgot how many um white girls there are on pinterest <laughs> so these two characters might end up looking very similar all right let's start with the first one then shall we it's this like long wedding <laughs> hairstyle okay with like some flowers and braids in the hair all right we can do that we can do that <laughs> Looks like it goes down to about her butt in the picture. So yeah, let's get you out of the way and we can work on this. All right, it looks like the hair is being pulled back. The image is from behind, so it makes it a little tricky. It looks like, so there's some hair covering the bangs on the one side. Then we have like the flowers and then the long length here that's curly and wavy. And it goes down to about like right at the top of her waist there-ish. So let's add that in. Okay, so this hair is being pulled into the braid. And that's like braided around like that. But then there's another braid. Oh, that braid actually looks like it's a headband of sorts. So this braid comes up like this. <laughs> Let me just make that look like a braid. And then some flowers just so that they're visible. We'll stick them right there. And then we have the strands of hair come out from underneath the braid. Now one of the things that's making this challenge very different from the way I would usually use Pinterest is usually kind of like peruse Pinterest a couple hours or like the day before I'm gonna draw something and I don't realize I'm gonna find inspiration there. <laughs> and then I'll look at things and it'll just make me wanna draw and I'll end up making like a merge of like a bunch of different things that I saw. Whereas in this one, I'm literally <laughs> just ripping off out of the pictures and I have to draw whichever ones come up in the search. So <laughs> this is gonna be very interesting to see how this character turns out. I think the clothes are gonna be really fun because I don't know if I've ever seen an ugly outfit on Pinterest, you know? <laughs> and now let's move on to three over here. And let's see, what was the... Oh, and this like wedding updo <laughs> was the image for that one. So it's got some like hairs that come down like this, elegantly curled. And then the hair's being pulled back into like a bun like that with some flowers. <laughs> there we go. I think these two people are attending the same event because they both have the baby's breath in their hair. <laughs> there we go. That's what our two characters are looking like with just hairstyles. Now I can't decide if I want to do a top and a bottom or like a one piece. But then again, even if I search top, Pinterest might tell me like a one piece. So let's hop on back over to Pinterest and see what it wants me to do. So now we're going to search images of a shirt. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so the first one is an actual full outfit. So. That's what number one's gonna be wearing here. We didn't get um, a shirt in that picture, so it moves us on to number four, which happens to be this V-neck that says faith over fear. Okay, well, Pinterest has spoken. Let's start with number one, which I think is a baby's outfit. It's definitely a baby's outfit. 
but that's okay. <laughs> We're not discriminating here. So it looks like it's a tank top. Let me just sketch this out real quick. Cause I think I'm seeing some problems with the anatomy that I'm gonna need to iron out when I do these clothes. <laughs> it kind of scoops down and it has, oh, there's a face on it. I thought the bow was part of the neckline. Okay, well, let me just figure out the outfit first. It's like blousey tank top. Kind of like this with a pretty high neckline, I think. Okay, and then there's a image on here of like a face. It's kind of more like a hairline and some eyes. <laughs> That's my lashes like that. <laughs> and then there's a bow right here. And then work on, <laughs> I think those are actually shorts. It's like a bow in the front. <laughs> this outfit's actually really, really cute. Oh, it's not a bow, it's like a belt. So these straps come in here and then they just stick out like that. And then there's another one coming from the other side and then it falls under like that. Wow, I never thought of that before. It looks kind of cool. I think they're shorts. So they kind of like bunch like that. And then they have a skirt kind of flare to them. I don't know if there's like actually a seam there or not. It's kind of hard to tell, but I'm going to add the seam. Erase some of these lines we don't need anymore. It's not a bad looking outfit. All right, I wonder if I can draw in that gingham. It might be a little tough. And it'll probably end up looking like plaid, but it's part of the outfit. I need to give it a shot. Fix up some of this anatomy a little bit while we're here. Something really fishy about the shoulders. Adding some detail to the face, darkening up some of the lines that I really like, bringing some life to the character. Woohoo! So I'm not entirely sure how um, Pinterest gives its suggestions when you search something. Like I'm not sure how its algorithm works, whether it's based on like things that I've searched previously and clicked on, or if it's based on what like what's popular and what other people have clicked on. So it's kind of interesting <laughs> to see the results that I get. <laughs> we should move on to number three. Give number three their shirt. And then we're gonna have to look up pants as well. I mean, there are pants in this picture. It's just jeans and sandals. So I could include those if I want. So it's a V-neck. Looks like it's just a plain t-shirt. Doesn't look too special. Might be a woman's cut, but I can't really tell. So I'm just gonna make it a plain t-shirt because that's what I wear and that's how I that's what I know how to draw. <laughs> Fritz this person properly. The seam should probably go over there. Erase some of the lines we don't need. Not sure where it should cut. Maybe there. Don't need some of these body lines anymore. And I guess we have to put the words on here. Ooh, cursive is very tricky for me. Like this is like a fancy updo and this is like a mm, going to the store t-shirt. <laughs> that F is exactly the same. This is definitely a font, not handwritten. <laughs> there we go. It's a little low, but I'm actually kind of happy with the way the lettering turned out and I don't want to redo that because there's a reason I'm not a uh, typist. So, no, that's not what it would be called. <laughs> there's a reason I'm not uh, a typography artist. It's not really my thing. Just hop over. And we're gonna search images of pants. I tried to trial run of this the other day and when I just put in like pants, I'd get a lot of like random inspirational quotes. Maybe not with pants, but <laughs> I think you get the idea. So I had to start typing in images beforehand or photos. All right, so number three, one, two, three. So we got these sort of like cuffed cargo pants with a chain. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> Looks like they're pretty high-waisted. Should I tuck the shirt in? That'd be so funny to have your words <laughs> getting cut off by a high-waisted pant. Let's just draw it without that first and see how we like it. Or I like it, I guess. It's up to me. <laughs> so they're kind of loose-fitting, so there's a lot of wrinklage happening here. Oh, we're gonna lose those kneecaps I was so proud of. Oh, we have the chain, too, that goes like there. And there's a ton of bunching down near the cuff here. Does that look like pants or poop? <laughs> now the cool thing about me having to draw all of these clothes on these different characters is I can make them fit the body types. <laughs> I don't have to go searching for different sizes, you know? I just make it work. It's like I'm a god. We'll leave the poop leg. 
It kind of brings me joy. <laughs> All right, now the chain. <laughs> this is actually turned out really cool because I have the reference right there. I can like kind of get an idea of what these wrinkles look like and they're really helping me. All right, so this is what we've got so far. Got number one and number two. I love how different they look. I was kind of worried that we'd have like very similar results, but uh, that's not happening. This character probably will have socks visible, whereas this character we can move on to the shoes. So why don't we do number one and see if we have any socks for this one. Let's go back to the search. Now we can do images of socks. Let's see what we get. Little kitty socks! We've got these hot socks from Macy's. <laughs> oh shoot! So I just refreshed the search results and all the images are completely different. I didn't realize Pinterest did that, but luckily I saved that pin. <laughs> Otherwise we'd have sloth sock. Not that I have anything against sloth socks though, but we could go with the original one because I'm not a cheater. Go back to our brown kitty socks. Looks like go up to about there maybe. I think we're gonna need to zoom in for this. One of them's like standing up. Watch, watch the shoes I get be boots and we just cover up these, but we'll know they're there. Okay, now we just need to draw some, some kitties over here. All right, let's move on to the shoes. Now we can type in images of shoes. All right, so the first result doesn't really have anything. Second result has some shoes here. Oh, but that's an ad. Okay, <laughs> the first pair of shoes are these lemon Nike Prestos. So that's what one gets. So we can draw those on this character here. They're a little bit uh, sporty for the outfit. Not what I would have chosen. They're actually gonna be hard to draw. It's not a very good angle. See, they're pretty long. They come up a little bit near the toe. And for the back, it looks like there's a lot more tread. Stitching designs. Hey, at least we didn't get boots. <laughs> Can't complain there. Oh, that's like really big compared to the rest of their body. All right, now we just have to do it again, but from a bit of a different angle. And there's the lace, little logos on the front. There we go. I mean, they look like shoes. I'll take that. All right, let's move on to number three. So let's go back. So this was one, that'd be two, this would be three. Oh, galaxy shoes, dang. Those look really cool and fun to draw. I'm so excited. And they actually come up pretty high, I think, like here almost. And they like curve down and then they come back up like that. I can erase some of this and then they're really like tall. Do a little 3D shape here because I'm kind of losing the sh foot. Then we have this sort of like detailing along with like this weird piece that looks like it's 3D printed. Kind of looks like roller blades and then they're more pointy. And then this part comes. This is confusing and it's like really really big. What's that part? The sole of the shoe? Is that what shows up? I'm not sure. Like that. It has some designs on there. And then this has some stitching design like that. Ooh, well I need some practice drawing shoes and I'm getting it. <laughs> Again, the angle of the shoe is a little confusing with the leg. Oh, this actually comes down further. It comes like there. All right, now I just need to add the laces, I think. Now these are untied, so I think I'll draw them untied too. The lace peeking around the corner there. There we go, now to do it again. <laughs> I'm gonna try and pull. This foot actually was originally pointing more towards like the viewer and this one was to the side. But to avoid having two shoes that are just sticking completely outwards from each other, I'm gonna try and redraw that foot, but more angled forward like this, but again, the shoe comes up pretty high, so we gotta erase a bit of that too. Let me give it a shot here. We should probably color in this so you can see the difference between that and the white accent. There we go. Two shoes. Those were really fun to draw and kind of scary. <laughs> All right, what do we got so far besides a mess? Oh my gosh, graphite everywhere. Oh dear. I think the last thing we could search for is maybe like accessories and then I think it'd be fun to look for a name. I don't know how Pinterest will work with that, but I'm gonna give it a shot. <laughs> search images of accessories. Hey, what do we got? <laughs> okay, we've got real accessories down there. So let's see, that one we passed because there's too many options you don't directly see which one's which, right? That's an advertisement. Those are shoes and we're already wearing shoes. So number one, we have number one would be this Mickey Mouse 
<laughs> watch case. <laughs> all right, all right. So that's what number one's going to be wearing. Which arm would you say that is? Looks like this. So I think it's this arm. So that's her left arm. All right, so there's two bracelets with some inscriptions on them, but I drew too small, so that's not gonna happen. And there's the second bangle. And then on top of that, there's a watch. But unfortunately I drew her hand kind of facing outwards. So the watch would probably be here. So you're not gonna see a lot of it. Add those Mickey ears. Here we go. We got that taken care of. Now we need something for number three over here. So one, two, three. We got these cherry earrings. Oh, cherry bow earrings. There's a bow up there. Now there's not really any room for that. This one was a bit of a bust. We'll just stick with the earrings since we're not cheaters. It's not my fault you won't see them. That's Pinterest's fault. <laughs> I'm doing it darkly because it'd be in the shadow. That didn't really add anything to the picture really, did it? Let's just finish drawing the hands down here. All right, so there's one and three with hair, shirts, pants, socks, shoes, and accessories. <laughs> now I think it's time. Let's see if we can use Pinterest to find names. So I'm just gonna search names. And if that doesn't work, I'll try baby names. Okay, yeah, I'm getting too many here. <laughs> what if I just search one baby name? Any help? Oh, hey, we got one. So, number one, it's a new name, is Adalia. I should have done this first so that I wasn't calling them one and three. Adalia. Cute. All right, now the next. All right, so now we gotta go three down. One, two, three. We got Rain, which is French for queen. Rain. There we go. Got Adalia and Rain. How's that? <laughs> oh, there's some good ones down here. Oakland, Linley. Rain. Oh, I like that rain. I like the spelling because it's like you rain over your kingdom, right? But I'm not in control here. I think it'd be fun to bring some color into Delian Rain's life if I can remember what the color of everything was. So, yeah, let's see what happens. Ooh, and there we have it. <laughs> I added a quick um, wash of color just to see what it would all look like put together. And honestly, these don't look too bad. Like the color schemes look a little better than when I picked the colors myself. I think the hardest thing was trying to get the hair to look like that blonde highlighty hair stuff that I don't know how to paint. <laughs> but yeah, this is a lot of fun. I think it'd be a really fun game to play when you don't know what to draw. Give yourself something to do. I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll have a link in the description to all of the pins that I use to create these illustrations. I'll see you all next week and I hope you have a delicious evening full of waffles. Bye!